Welcome to the Excel tutorial. In this video, we will be selecting one or more cell references and cell ranges. I have already opened a workbook from which we'll be working on. To select a single cell, you just simply click on the specific cell and it will be selected. I know this by the green border that is around the selected cell. A selected cell is also called an active cell because if I am to apply any changes or type anything, those changes will only affect the active cell. A cell range is a group of cells. Ranges can be adjacent or non-adjacent, the same way that every cell has its own reference, ranges also have range references. We are going to determine the range for G606. To select a range, you have to position your mouse pointer on the first cell reference which in this case is G6. Then click and hold the mouse button down and drag it to the right until you reach the last reference, which is O6. Note that when you write the range, it consists of the first cell address, which is G6, and the last cell address, which is 06, and they are separated by a colon. We say this is an adjacent cell range because the cell, because the, the selected cells are arranged next to each other. And if we are to select this cell range, which is M4, all the way to P8, first you position your mouse pointer at M4, click the mouse button down and drag it all the way to P8. There you go. We have selected this cell range. A non-adjacent cell range is made up of one or more ranges and they are not arranged next to each other. If you want to select cells that are not next to each other, you'll have to press and hold the control key, then click on the cells that you want to select. For instance, I am going to click on cell H5, then click on the control, and then select all the many other cells that which I want to select. While at it, I can even click and drag in order to select a range. I can also select multiple ranges. So the trick here is that I have to constantly ensure that my control key is pressed on the keyboard. If you want to select column row, I mean, if you want to select a column, you must click on the column heading. That is the alphabet that appear above every column. So if I want to select column J, I just click on the letter J and the entire column will be selected. And if you want to select an entire row, you click on the row heading, which are the, uh, the numbers that are on the left of each um, row. So if I want to select row 10, I just click on the actual heading and then the entire row will be selected. And then to select a column range, you simply click on the specific column header and drag it until you've selected the specific range that which you want. Same way with, similarly, if you want to select a row range, you will click on the specific row header, hold the mouse and drag it until you've selected the specific range that you want. And then to select non-adjacent columns, first you will have to click the column header that you want to select, and then hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click the other columns that which you want to select. For instance, I want to select column H, J, L, and Q. You can also do this for rows. So you will click on the row header that which you want uh, to select, then 
hold down the control key on your keyboard, then click on the on the other rows that which you want to include in your selection. And if you want to select all the columns and rows on your worksheet, you click the small box that is located at the intersection of your headings of your headings. So when you click it, all the cells in the spreadsheet in the worksheet are selected. Another way of selecting your entire worksheet is letter A on your keyboard at the same time and the active sheet will be selected.